Hi, we're going to factor this three-term polynomial, a trinomial, in fact a quadratic trinomial by grouping. But as you're well aware from last week, we have to have four terms to be able to, to use grouping. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to create four terms out of this three-term polynomial. Here we go. Look at the coefficients, that is the numbers in front of the letters and at the end. We have a name for these. A is 4, B is 15, and C is 9. To find another term, a fourth term, what we're going to do is we're going to take 15w, the middle term, and we're going to split it into two separate terms. But those terms have to be the right terms. And here's how we make sure we've got the right terms. Multiply the a number times the c number. All right, ac, a times c, is going to be 4 times 9, which is 36. I now factor this number, 36, into all of the numbers it might equal. That is, into all of its integer factors. That will be 1 times 36 and 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6. And since you're just beginning, let's, let's do all. Let's list all of the integer factors. Since a positive number equals a negative number times a negative number, let's list the negative ones also. Although you don't really need the negative factors for this particular problem. Negative 1 times negative 36, negative 2 times negative 18, negative 3 times negative 12, negative 4 times negative 9, and negative 6 times negative 6. All right, those are the integer factors of... Um, 36. Now, we have to find the right term to substitute for 15w. Here's how we do it. That is the right two terms. Here's how we do it. Look through this entire list of integer factors. 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, 6 times 6, and the others as well and find the number pair whose members, that is, find the two numbers uh, that add up to the B number, which is 15. And that will be 3 and 12. If you add 3 and 12, you get 15. That is the only integer factor pair that will work. Okay, let's start this problem. I'm going to rewrite 4w squared plus 15w plus 9 as 4w squared plus 12w plus 3w plus 9. Now it's important to say it wouldn't really matter whether I wrote the problem as 3w plus 12w, or 12w plus 3w. I chose to write it this way because 4 goes into 12 and 3 goes into 9. And now that we have four terms, we are going to group the first two terms together and the second two terms together. So parentheses around the first two terms 
parentheses around the second two terms and be very sure to leave your plus sign in the middle. And not only that, but don't forget to write it. That's one of the causes of, one of the main causes of mistakes is not writing the sign in the middle. Okay, now we're going to factor each set of parentheses by the greatest common factor. 4 goes into 4 and 4 goes into 12. So I know that my greatest common factor is going to be 4. In fact, not just 4, but W is part of W squared and W is over here. So W is also going to be part of the GCF for the first two terms. Now, 4w times what is going to give me 4w squared? And it's w. 4w times w is 4w squared. Copy down your plus sign. 4w times what is going to equal 12w? Well, that's 3. 4w times 3 is 12w. Now, I have factored the first set of parentheses by the GCF, and in fact, I ought to be able to multiply them back together. 4w times parentheses w plus 3, parentheses closed, and get exactly what I started with. Now, copy down the middle plus sign. It's better to keep everything right above and below everything else. Okay, remember that 9 is 3 times 3. So a 3 goes into both of the second group of terms. So I'm going to pull out a 3 as the greatest common factor. And that will leave me with a W plus 3. Because if I take the GCF and multiply, that is, if I distribute it into the parentheses, then 3 times W is 3W, and 3 times 3 is 9. Now look, the W plus 3 in parentheses matches the second W plus 3 in parentheses. When that's true, your W plus 3 is the greatest common factor of the entire polynomial. So I write down W plus 3 as my GCF. So important, I write it in red. And then I write the leftovers. 4W plus 3. Now, how do I know I'm right? Well, I don't. I'm going to check my answer now. And I'm even going to write check just so that you know what I'm doing. I'm going to take W plus 3 and 4W plus 3 and multiply them together by foiling F O. I, L. Remember that equals first, outside, inside, and last. So the first two terms are W and 4W. When I multiply them together, I get 4W squared. The outside terms are 3 and W. So when I multiply them together, I get 3w. The inside terms are 3 and 4w. So when I multiply those two terms, I get 12w. And the last terms are 3 and 3. When I multiply 3 times 3, I get 9. 
Now, when we do a quadratic trinomial like this, the middle terms are usually, almost always, like terms. They're both W terms, so I can add them. Another technical way to say it is that the two middle terms are both linear terms, so we can add them together. So 4w squared plus 15w, because 3w plus 12w is 15w. Bring down the plus 9 so that my answer is 4w squared plus 15w plus 9, and that is exactly, exactly what we started with. So that means that the two factors I came up with are the correct factors for 4w squared plus 15w plus 9.